हे मेकर्स दिस इज रुवीन एंड टुडे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग क्रिएटर किट कंपोनेंट टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ अमेजिंग फ्लुएंट यू आई टैप कंपोनेंट इन साइड द पावर एप्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैवेंट फॉलोड मी ऑन माई ट्विटर एंड इंस्टाग्राम सो फार प्लीज डू फॉलो मी ऑल्सो एटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियो बट नॉट सब्सक्राइबिंग द चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इट्स फ्री फॉर यू बट इट मोटिवेट्स मी अ लॉट टू क्रिएट न्यू कॉन्टेंट अराउंड पावर प्लेटफॉर्म सो मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल नोटिफिकेशन टू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स फ्रॉम माई चैनल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Now, to create this kind of Fluent UI tab interface, we need to use Fluent UI pivot icon from the Creator Kit. How to install Creator Kit and how to use the component from the Creator Kit? I already created six video around that, and that playlist available in the description box. So now let's just start from the scratch for configuring this tab layout. First of all, I am creating blank screen over here to configure this. Now the very first step is we need to insert our Fluent UI pivot component over here. To add the Fluent UI pivot component, simply click on Get More Component, go to the Code component, and search for the pivot component. So you can see Fluent UI pivot by Power Quet. Just click on Import to import that component. Now I already imported that component, so it is appearing under my Code components over here. Now let's add that component on the screen. So when you add the component, this will look like this. This is the default interface over here. Now here we need to configure couple of properties. So let's say for an example, instead of this item one, two, and three, I need my own properties. So let's configure the item properties. So expand the item and provide the key and value pair over here. So let's say for an example, here I want to add couple of uh, key value pair like this. I want to add pre-interview, interview, technical score, and HR score. So I added item key and item display name property over here, and it will render like this. So this is something which my tab layout is looking like. Now let's say for an example, I just want to change this tab layout a little bit. So there is one more property available. So let me copy and paste this icon to showcase the other type of property. So over here, you can see that when you select this, there is an option for render type. So there is an option pivot tab. So when you change it, this tab layout will be looking like this. And when you select that, it will look like this. Also, if you are not happy with the font size over here, you always have an option rendering size. And if you select large, it will show you large font like this. Okay. So this is how you can simply configure your tab layout here. Isn't it easy? Now we can do one more thing. Let's say for an example, how can I know which tab is clicked over here? So for that, one property is available. So let me just showcase about that property. Let me just print out one label over here on my screen, and let me print which item is selected from this pivot. So I am copying the ID of this pivot, pivot two, and we will get this property using this option, pivot two dot. selected dot item key or item display name so when you do the item key so whatever item key that you set for this particular pivot that will be appear so it is something which is set up in your this property items and similar way if you just want to see the tab name instead of item key you can just print item display name so you can get that property over here Also, if you want to write some event on top of that, so let's say when I click on pre-interview, couple of fields should be show and hide based on this field. So those condition you can write on change event of this pivot. So just select this pivot and select the on change property of it. So I'm selecting that. Now over here you can write your own switch expression to perform the appropriate thing. So let's say for an example, I am writing a switch here like pivot two dot selected. dot selected item key and if the value is tab order let's say for an example let me just copy and paste one of the key so from here i'm just copying this key key pre interview so at that time what should be happen i can write that code over here so let me select that and let's say for an example at that time i want to navigate myself to some other page so i can simply write navigate and over here i can just provide the name of the screen which is my left navigation screen 
same way you can add the other key for the other operation so this is just one of the demonstration all right and we can do also one thing like whenever i'm selecting any of the key let's just notify ourselves like which item is being selected so that is something also you can write upon change event of it so let's say for an example over here for this another pivot two underscore one let's write on change event like this notify which item is clicked let's just notify ourselves so we will get to know that it is working as expected so from tab end person pivot two underscore one dot selected dot item display name and let's provide the notification type as success let's taste it now let's say first i'm checking this pivot so i'm selecting the different thing and it is printing different value over here same way like whenever i'm clicking on pre-interview it will navigate myself to the first screen for the, with the code that i have written over here right let me go back again to the same screen and now let me just select my another pivot component i added so whenever i'm selecting it is saying that this is selected interview tab is selected technical score is selected right so we are getting the selected item and on top of that you can write any power effects expression you want so that's it for today if you have any question feel free to drop off your question in the comment section also if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram because those are the platform where I'm uploading short content related power platform. Also, there is another dedicated channel on the YouTube called Digital Dhruvin where I'm uploading shorts for power platform. So subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.